Hey friends, thanks for being here. Today I am reviewing a new line of makeup, or at least it's very new to me. It's called Stowaway Cosmetics, and uh, I actually ran across this brand on Pinterest. I was going through like trying to find this taco casserole recipe I pinned five months ago, and there was this ad like within my Pinterest feed for Stowaway Cosmetics. And their whole mantra is makeup you'll love in sizes you can carry and finish before it expires. So they're giving you product in these smaller sizes and the price tag for these things isn't necessarily miniature. You'll see as we go through, everything here I think is generally costing a little bit more than a drugstore item might. But I thought this sounds interesting. This is something I want to explore a little bit more, kind of a new idea in the makeup world. I wasn't approaching by this brand. By the way, I wasn't sent anything from them. I just kind of got on their website and decided what I wanted to order. And so I got something called the Essentials Kit, which kind of let me sample a lot of different products. But just to give you a little bit of background on the brand first, I found this out from the FAQ section of their website. Um, they are what's known as EU compliant. So that's in compliance with European makeup standards where there's like 1,300 ingredients or items banned from cosmetics. And in the US, there are only 11 and items banned from cosmetics. So the standards are obviously much higher with European makeup, so they're calling themselves EU compliant because they went along with that sort of um, restriction. And they're cruelty free. They are not 100% vegan because they say some um, items include beeswax as an ingredient and they are gluten free. So the kit that I went with um, contains the BB cream, the concealer, it's got a like a lip and cheek rouge, a lipstick, a mascara, and also an eyeliner. And you can see, you know what I'm talking about, some of these sizes are pretty darn small. And as far as the whole claim of makeup that you're going to use up before it expires, I really think that's going to vary depending on how much other stuff you've got in your rotation. If you were to purely use this stuff, maybe that concept would hold true, but if you're occasionally, you know, rotating in a different concealer, or using a little bit of this other lipstick or this or that, I don't think there's any real solid guarantee on that. And I know I'm I'm talking to a bunch of fellow makeup addicts here on YouTube who have a lot of makeup and this might not be all you use just because you ordered the kit. But what's on my face today, with the exception of a brow product, it's only this kit. So I didn't pull in anything extra and I can see a few ways maybe I would improve the look if I were to bring in some extra products, but yeah, this is it. There is nothing of a powder consistency in this kit and I do find that a little surprising because they talk about being so like on the go friendly because everything's so little, but having worn this several times already, I can tell, you know, I make it midway into the day and I really do feel the need for a powder type touch up and I'm not even that oily. But I want to quickly take you through and show you application and just talk about each of the products here. So the Radiant Complexion BB Cream. I have this in the shade light and as you get the kits online, they're not completely pre-done for you. You select like your foundation shade, concealer shade, the lipstick and all that. The instructions say to apply a size drop to clean moisturized skin. I did that. I used my Sigma F80 brush. I feel like it was a good shade match. The coverage was a little better than I expected actually. I think it's kind of like a light to medium coverage. You can build it up um, if you want to add a little bit more to certain areas you will notice some increased coverage. There isn't any SPF that I can see in this product so that would have been nice. The finish on the skin is just very natural. I don't feel like this has been packed with any kind of like glowy fillers or anything that's going to really like catch the light and make you look super dewy once you've got it on. This kind of reminds me of my Rimmel BB cream, the kind with the blue cap, just the standard formula, but maybe a teeny bit less coverage than that. Next up, you've got this concealer and it is just itty bitty. You're only getting 0.15 ounces in this, but I have this concealer in the shade light as well. And I definitely use that around the under eye area. I used it where I have a little bit of redness around the nose. And I really like this concealer. I think it's creamy. It doesn't seem to exaggerate the look of fine lines around the eye area. It has some really nice coverage. Um, the only thing that it left me wanting when I got it on was just I felt the need to set it because it never really sets even this long after doing my makeup. You know, it still feels kind of tacky and I think that can affect staying power if you happen to touch, you know, your under eye area. You feel like maybe am I lifting off some of that concealer. Also, if you chose to do lower lash line mask 
mascara and you've got a tacky concealer underneath it, I noticed this the first time I used this kit, you will have a little bit of transfer underneath the eye. And these days I really am enjoying the process of baking my concealer because I feel like it gives just such a flawless look to the under eye. And here, you know, it did cancel out some darkness, but I can kind of just, just with the dewiness of it, I can see it very much in person as I turn my head. You know, it'll catch the light a bit more in certain areas and almost make me look like I've got a little bit more of a hollow under the eye. Next product is this um, Lip and Cheek Rouge. So it's a kind of two-in-one multitasker, a great cream blush. I was able to easily apply this with my fingers and it's even kind of a dark shade that I chose because I have it in the burnt rose color and I just, I picked it because I didn't feel like I had a lot of shades like this in my collection as far as cream blushes go. And I think it's just beautiful. It shears out to give you a pretty, you know, rosy flush. It's really pretty on the lips as well. But with this, it seems a little bit more generously sized. It seems to be, you know, similar in size to a lot of other cream blushes I might have. So I didn't quite notice that downsized product concept as much with this. For the eyes, there are two products. There's an eyeliner and a mascara. The eyeliner, I have it in the shade Jet, and I think there was a brown option as well. So Jet is the black. Um, this is probably my least favorite product in the kit. It really is smaller, as you can see, than a standard eyeliner would be. And I don't find myself using up eyeliners super quickly. So I respect the fact that this might be one you could actually use up within the expiration limit. And all of these are marked, by the way, with when they expire. There's little um, indicators on the boxes. So for example, this eyeliner is expected to last 16 months. But I applied it across the upper lash line. I felt like it was just too dry. It tugged quite a bit. I felt like I was spending too much time on it just because I was trying to get really, really close to the lash line and it was just a little too dry to easily allow that to happen. I don't feel like I got full on black when I first applied it and then it does have a tendency of fading a little bit as the day goes on. So I wasn't super impressed with that. Next up we've got this mascara and there are a couple of choices that you have if you're getting this essentials kit. I went with the more dramatic uh, mascara. I think it's called Extreme Lash and it does have this rubber brush. It seems like kind of a large brush. You've got varying um, lengths of bristle. Some are really short and then there are like three rows that stick out a little bit longer. And I kind of like the effect of the mascara. I did find it to be really lengthening. It's a formula that's not super wet and inky. I did enjoy that, but what I found kind of interesting is that you're getting a size here that's pretty comparable to what you would get in a mascara sample from most brands, right? It's not very big, and they say this is going to last six months on the mascara, and I've always heard that the general rule of thumb for mascara is three months, and if I am using a certain mascara consistently, it will pretty much only last me three months. So I'm really shocked that this is going to last six months and it's way less product than a regular mascara. Final thing and the best thing in this kit to me is the lipstick and I chose the shade Fig and I think it's just gorgeous. So I kind of swiped away um, the lip and cheek tint that I had on there to show you first and this lipstick, it smells awesome vanilla, sweet, creamy, it's super pigmented with one swipe. I don't see it bleeding outside the lips. It just, it feels so comfortable. And a lipstick is really a product that I don't mind having in the smaller size because it takes a while for me to go through lipsticks. It's very infrequent that I finish a lipstick. I am a lip product addict and I've got a ton of them. So I totally see the appeal in having something smaller that I don't know if I'll even use this up, but it's more likely that I will. This is just a killer formula. It was above and beyond anything I was really anticipating. And I'm like, yeah, I love this stuff. I would love to try more. Um, I think having a tiny lipstick is super handy. Put it in a little clutch, um, stick it down in a wallet or something. So this whole kit cost me $75. I get that they are using better ingredients. They're made in the USA. Um, there are a lot of great perks about this brand. And I do think the finished look that I ended up with is definitely something I could feel comfortable wearing outside the house. You know, it was quick to do. I feel finished. It didn't require a lot of tools. You know, if you want to apply different things with brushes or sponges, you can, but you wouldn't absolutely have to bring in anything additional. The best things in the kit, in my opinion, the lipstick, as I said, also the lip and cheek tint. I love this because I got a pretty dark shade. It was very easy to blend. So I think that's definitely saying something about the formula. And I did like the concealer, although 
it's a tiny size and I feel like there was a huge air bubble in mine because I haven't used it that much before this and I felt like I was really, you know, needing to squeeze it a lot to get some out today. I think if you have really dry skin, you might get done with this makeup look and feel like, okay, that's absolutely perfect because you didn't apply any powders on top that are maybe clinging to your dry areas. You know, you use the BB cream, the concealer, and a creamy type blush and that might be just perfect for some people of that skin type. But for me, I tend to have some staying powder power issues around the t-zone and also like I said I feel like a little under eye setting powder could really help this out and so I think a powder in this kit just a small you know on the go type thing would be the ideal touch up or maybe even like a mattifying balm like Mally's face defender would be nice to have. But paying $75 I mean that's a decent chunk of change and to be getting mostly really small size products for that price you almost feel like you're paying for someone's idea of being innovative and here's something small that you're going to actually use up before the expiration date and that sounds like a good thing but like this itty bitty concealer was $16 you know it's a nice concealer but dang and I am not one who knows all the ins and outs about packaging and manufacturing and the reasons why certain costs are necessary to do a B and C with a product but in an ideal situation I think it would be great if these products could be a little bit less considering you're getting so little product so if you guys have tried this stuff as well let me know what you think I feel like I've been seeing ads all over for this brand maybe it's just because I've visited their website right now and bought some stuff and I just keep seeing it over and over. But thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.